Hey, 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 what is up, Swift Games here, and today I'm going to be doing a blaster comparison. So, if you like this video, please drop a like, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe. So now, let's get into the video. So today, I will be comparing the T21 to the T21B. These, the description for these blasters say that they are both long-range blasters, and I'm going to see which one does that better. So first, let's talk about the T21. The T21 is a high-damaging, slow-rate-of-fire blaster. This blaster has no optics, so it will have less zoom amount compared to the T21B. Ideal for long range engagements, but with high damage and the fully automatic fire rate or fire mode, it will work at close range. Okay, so to go over the T21 stats, the damage starts out at 50 and drops off to 34, making it a consistent 2 to 3 shot kill. Two shots ends at 10 meters, and the 34 damage starts at 50 meters, so. At close range, you can get two shot kills, and at long range, it is three shot kills. So this blaster, since it's fully automatic, will shoot a few more projectiles before it will overheat compared to the T21B because of the full auto fire mode, and it shoots 12. The rate of fire on this is 180. Now we should compare the T21B. This blaster is semi-automatic with a large amount of damage outputted. This is an optic, so it will have a greater zoom compared to the T21. The T21B stats show that it is a consistent 3 shot kill with damage starting at 45 and ending at 34. The drop off starts at 10 meters and ends at 50 meters. It, since it's semi auto, it will only shoot 7 shots till it overheats with a rate of fire of 180, but more determined by how fast you click the mouse to pull the trigger. The T21B is a much more long-range oriented blaster, with semi-automatic fire paired with low fire rate and consistent 3-shot kills. This is a horrible blaster for close range. At medium to long range engagements, this blaster shines with great accuracy and consistent 3-shot kills. This is good for these distances because most blasters are not accurate enough and their drop-off does not let them do enough damage to be an effective blaster at these medium to long ranges shown in this video. To compare both the blasters, they have similar-ish effective ranges. Even though the T21 can be somewhat effective at close range, it's not the best choice for close range engagements. There are many other blasters with the higher fire rates that will be just much more suited if you want to be using a close range blaster. They both work for medium range engagements because they both are three shot kills at that range because of the damage drop offs for the T21 and it does not lose too much accuracy at that range so you can still get a good amount of shots on target at long range the t21 is still an option but much less effective at these distances compared to the t21b because the t21b is more accurate since it's semi-auto unlike the t21 just shooting in full auto so it will lose its spread even though the t21 does more damage than the t21b the t21 is not a very effective close range blaster and the drop off ends at 10 meters, so its damage advantage is gone. At long ranges, the T21 is not as effective as a T21B because of the de decreased accuracy from fully automatic fire. In my opinion, the T21B is the better blaster of the two. The T21B is made for long range and it does that job very well. With consistent 3 shot kills and good accuracy, it is a great long range blaster and it kind of fills a role unlike the T21. Even though the T21 is more versatile, I would say, there are better versatile blasters, like the E11 and the A280C. It tries to, in my opinion, fill that role, but it doesn't do that job very well. The T21B fills a role unlike the T21, which has other blasters that are better options to use than the T21 because it has more of a unique role. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, so if you enjoyed, leave a like. If you're new here and enjoyed this video, subscribe for more Battlefront, Battlefield, Airsoft, and other games along like that content. So see you later. Swift Games, out.